Guys, look. Wow, there are a lot of fish here. There is lobster. There are several types of vegetables that can be chosen as food for freshwater lobsters, including carrots, kale, bean sprouts, pears and dragon fruit. Adequate vegetable intake will have a good impact on the body and appearance of the lobster shell. He has many legs. This is manta ray. Manta rays are animals that generally have calm behavior. He also showed friendly behavior with the divers. It is also commonly seen near the sea surface and around coral reefs. He has a pair of horn. This is lemon shark. The main food of adult lemon sharks is small bony fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. Even when they want to eat, they are known to be quite crazy because these sharks will accelerate and crash into their prey. He is yellow. This is puffer fish. Puffer fish have very strong poison in their bodies, namely tetrodo poison which is found in the liver, gonads, or reproductive organs, intestines and skin. This substance will make them taste rotten and is often deadly. His body is prickly. This is ammonite. Scientists believe that ammonites, like modern cephalopods, had soft body tissue with tentacles attached to their heads to catch prey. Fossil evidence shows that they had sharp, beak-like jaws to snare such prey. Wow! He circled! This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus evolved around 100 million years ago, and diversified by 66 million years ago. This sea monster is thought to have become extinct and a giant asteroid hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, plunging the world into darkness. He is very big. Let's find again. Well guys, look. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spotted stingray is not reef compatible, and so it needs sand as the substrate, because if any coarser is used it can scratch the underside of the fish, and that can lead to infection. His body is spotted. This is clownfish. Despite the friendly name, clownfish can be quite aggressive. They are known to fiercely defend their territory, especially when they laid their eggs. They can attack divers when they come too close to anemone. Well guys, look. This is manta ray. Manta rays are pelagic fish that are widely distributed and are a type of Perilla fish that migrate hundreds of kilometers. Indonesia's coastal areas have a distribution of stingrays covering the waters of the Indian Ocean. He has a pair of horn. This is gulper eel. Gulper eels have tiny eyes, which is unusual for deep sea creatures. Bioluminescence might also be used to attract a mate. Scientists believe gulper eels die soon after mating. He has a big mouth. This is a moray eel. Moray eels also have mucus like other eels. In some types of moray, the mucus contains poison. Moray eels have thicker skin with high density. He is green. There is a stingray. Some types of stingrays, there are species that have tails equipped with stinging spines called stingrays. The unique thing about stingrays is that they have eyes which are generally located on the sides. He is playing brown. This is puffer fish. Let's find again. Well, guys, look over there. There is crab. Most crab species are omnivorous. This means they have the ability to eat a wide variety of foods, including plants, small animals, and organic remains. He has many arms. Wow, this is starfish. 
Starfish are invertebrates that belong to the phylum Echinodermida and belong to the class Asteroidea. This marine animal is a source of bioactive compounds and has antioxidant, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory activity and many more. Be like a star. This is a dugong. The way dugongs reproduce is by viviparous or giving birth. Dugongs will be ready to breed once they reach 10 years of age. The duration of pregnancy for dugongs is 12 to 14 months. This is a garfish. This alligator fish or often referred to as crocodile fish has a shape similar to a crocodile. It has a long mouth, snout and body like a crocodile only it doesn't have legs. Its mouth is very sharp. There is spotted eagle ray. Spotted eagle rays reproduce ovoviviparously. The eggs are deposited inside the female's body and hatch inside, feeding on the yolk sac until she is born. This is largemouth bass. He is green. Let's find again. Well, guys, look. This is Mosasaurus. Even though it is quite long and heavy, who would have thought that Mosasaurus was included in the group of dinosaurs with slender bodies? Moreover, because its body shape is quite slender, Mosasaurus can swim very agile and also quite fast. He is very big. There is a jellyfish. Even though the jellyfish has died, it is still dangerous. This is because its tentacles, which are equipped with nematocysts, contain poison and still sting even when they are dead. It has a transparent body. This is Gurnard fish. Despite its common name, the purple flying Gurnard does not fly. It can however, walk on the bottom by alternatively moving the pelvic fins and short pectoral fin rays. He has a pair of wings. This is a Decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. The squid. This is a crayfish. Crawfish are not insects, but freshwater crustaceans resembling small lobsters. Crawfish, also known as crawdads, mudbugs, crayfish, are not harmful to tough grass but can become numerous in poorly drained soil. This is a dolphin. Did you know that the dolphin brain is considered to be much more structurally complex than the human brain? That's why dolphins are smart, their ability to recognize themselves in the mirror and communicate with each other makes dolphins known as one of the intelligent mammals on Earth. Thank you for watching guys. See you next video.